This video is for educational purposes and remember to only test your own hardware. Do not test any device that you do not have permission to test because, well, that will get you in trouble and we're trying to make sure that you learn and educate yourself in a proper fashion. So remember, don't be a skid. Hi, I'm Cal and welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be going over a new Flipper Zero GPIO board that is Kind of spooky, man. In a good way, I mean. And it's powered by the ESP32C5. It's called the Poltergeist, and it comes with a lot of neat features, man. Now, the ESP32C5 is taking the IoT community by storm, and that's mostly because it can sniff out the 2.4 GHz band and 5 GHz band, which gives you a lot more options than you would have with a regular dev board. This board is designed by the great minds at Rabbit Labs, and I personally purchased this board at the minute it launched, because I was excited that Rabbit Labs launched an ESP32C5 board, and they're the best in the business. So if they launched the C5 board, then that's, that's a board I definitely want to add to my collection. And I'd like to show you guys what makes it exceptionally special. Now before we get on to testing, let's go over the silk screening real quick and a little bit of the features that this board comes with. You've got a USB-C port for power and data, you've got a OLED display and an SD card slot with a Rabbit Labs themed SD card brought to you by Pink Fox, thank you Fox. And on the back, we've got this, <laughs> we've got Poltergeist themed silk screening and I just love how this I love how this board looks. This is a really nice board. Now you've got the ESP32C5 Room 1 right here on the top, a boot and reset button, four high output custom made infrared transmitters. These LEDs are custom made. You won't find these LEDs elsewhere. These aren't like Everlights or something. These are, these are designed and made by the rabbit himself. And uh, you might be asking yourself, why are there two extra footprints right there? Well, that's because these are such powerful infrared transmitters that if you were to put and populate these two footprints right here, it would actually damage your flipper. Now, not only does it double as a Wi-Fi dev board and an IR transmitter, you also have an infrared receiver right here, which makes it able to pretty much be a Wi-Fi dev board, an IR blaster, and an IR receiver, which I'm almost sure is more powerful than the IR receiver that you get on the flipper. You have an OLED display, which we will see in action in a second. I have yet to turn this on. And I, I still, I, I just love this silk screen. <laughs> I love the themes that he puts on his board. And it's, it's a nice board, man. Now, what I'm about to say is not hating. I love this board. <laughs> Definitely an exceptional board. But I wish it came with a GPS, man. Having an ESP32C5 with a GPS built into the board just makes sense. But he did launch the Doctor Who, which is Rabbit Labs' new GPS module, and it's powerful, like really powerful. We'll be going over it in a few days. But that's my only trade-off. That's the, the only thing that I wish this board has. But it has a really powerful infrared transmitter and a really capable infrared receiver. So kind of needed to throw that in. Now to use this board, it's going to take a few extra steps and it involves plugging in your flipper to a computer or using the app. But for this example, we're going to be using the computer and hopefully you're running Windows. Most people run Windows. Don't hate me. First, you're going to need a flipper Then plug in your flipper. Then go to the Momentum website and update your flipper. Connect it first, then update your flipper. Go to either, I'd, I'd pick dev if I were you, pick dev and pick the latest version of Momentum. Now we go to ghostesp.net and from ghostesp.net we go to Flipper app. From Flipper app it'll say Flipper Zero app. Ghost ESP for Flipper Zero V.1.0. Oh, v That's what it'll say. And then you click download latest FAP. And after you download the latest FAP you save it somewhere, in this case it's right here, and we go to QFlipper. And from QFlipper you click this tab right here, do not update, do not update, don't press that button. And then go over here, and then go to SD card, and then we go to apps, and we go to GPIO, and from there we go to ESP, and from here we just drag and drop 
right here. Now you're still not done yet. You have options. With the Poltergeist board, you can flash the ESP32C5 with Marauder by Just Call Me Coco, or you can flash it with Ghost ESP. Now, if you flash it with Marauder, you're limited to the ESP32C5, sniffing, de offing, just that. But if you flash it with Ghost ESP, you can use it as an IR blaster, which is exceptional because that also means you can use it as a standalone device, which I think is pretty cool, man. Now all you gotta do is plug in your Poltergeist and head over to flasher.site, which is quite simple, flasher.site. And here you'll find the Rabbit Labs web flasher. Simply plug in your board and select your board. Make sure you have the CH34 drivers plugged in. Well, I'll link the driver um, link in the description and then pick your board. And after you pick your board, you pick Ghost DSP or you pick Marauder. And I like the fact that you have choices. Now you can plug this in by itself. Just give it a power source and this board is clean. And it says so on the board. Look right there. It says this board is clean. You get a nice welcome message with a heart saying that this board was made with love and so is the programming. And then is very heartwarming. But now we are going to try it with our Flipper Zero. We're going to plug it in just like that. And it, oh my God, that click. I mean, it's one of the few boards you can do that. It's, it actually hugs. I love that. Now from here, we're gonna go to apps. And from apps, we're going to go to GPIO. And from GPIO, we're gonna head down to ESP. And from ESP, we're gonna go to Ghost ESP. And voila, it should load up in a second. Ta-da! Made with love. Now the first thing we're gonna test out is Wi-Fi. Let's go to scan APs. Please wait 10 seconds. Scanning has started. Oh my God, and it tells you on the screen. I really like that. Hmm. Now from here, it says all status, all stopped. Excellent. Now from here, let's go to list. List APs, oh, that's really nice. Showing results. That is cool. It tells you on the top what you're doing, and I, oh, let's see, what do we got? We got five gigahertz signals. 2.4, 2.4, 2 2.4. There we go, five gigahertz signals right there. Band, 5G. All status is stopped. Let's select AP. Oh no, let's not select AP. We can launch an evil portal. That's excellent. Let's go to BLE. Scanning and detection. Skimmer detection. You can detect card skimmers. BLE scanning. PCAP monitoring devices. Okay. Find the flippers. Oh, we found a flipper. <laughs> we found the other flipper. That's awesome. We got Derek's flipper. AirTag scanner. Definitely got to change that battery in my AirTag. Uh, list AirTags. No AirTags discovered yet. Yep, definitely got to change that battery in my AirTag. Select Flipper to track. View all BLE traffic. That is excellent. Now, let's go to Attacks and Spoofing. Uh, BLE Spam Apple. And we are definitely spamming. And the status on the top tells you it's spamming. Three packets sent. And we're gonna go back. Stop all BLE. Okay, all stopped. Now we don't have a GPS, so we can't pick GPS, but let's go to infrared. There we go. Now, what makes the ESP32C5 exceptional over, let's say, the ESP32S3? And it's not just dual band Wi-Fi. It's the fact that you can get dual band Wi-Fi without draining your Flipper Zero's battery as fast as its predecessors, like the S3. So, dual band Wi-Fi with less power consumption. 
That's what makes this board awesome. Because not only do you get a dual band Wi-Fi deauthor and sniffer, but you also get an IR blaster and that drains less power, man. Now I've gotten my tape measure right there and I've measured out 79 inches. And we're gonna measure every 79 inches from my TV. And we're going to get that ready real quick. And we're gonna start out by 79 inches away. And okay, 79 inches works just fine. We're gonna try that again. Okay, 79 inches. Let's try again. Now we've measured out another 79 inches and we're going to measure that again. Excuse the mess. And we're going to try that again. And it works. Another 79 inches. Let's try that again. And now we're gonna see how much further we can go from here. Now we are a full 395 inches away. 395 inches away. Let's try that again. And there we go. 395 inches away. Let's see if we can go even further. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that we're a whole 450 inches away from the TV. 454 inches, it's crazy. I can't go any further than this. This is the furthest my test can go because my room is here and that's the wall. And I have my, <laughs> I have the gimbal placed all the way against the wall. So this is the furthest I can do. So let's see how we do. I'm gonna press it up against the, all the way here. And it still works. That is awesome. That is super powerful. I'm going to keep pressing the button. Let's see. Power. There we go. There we go. That is 454 inches. Oh my God. Hold on. Let me get even closer. Let me get even closer. That, I want to say that's a, 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 that's at least 454. That's that's exceptional. That's exceptional. What? I just turned it off facing the other way. What? Hold on, hold on. I am. I swear to God, I have it facing away, and it's still turning off. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. Now, needless to say, I came into this a little bit skeptical, mostly because I was wondering why the hell an IR blaster is on a C5 and. After talking to the rabbit, I was like, okay, they're really high output. You design them, that's nice. But damn, man, we're talking about almost over five, 50 feet. I'm almost sure that if I could go any further in my house, it would have gotten over 50 feet. And I'm limited to 45, 44 feet, which is, which is dope, man. That's, that's a really nice board. And it doubles as a, <laughs> as a Wi-Fi dev board. This is an IR blaster that doubles as a Wi-Fi dev board. Not a Wi-Fi dev board that doubles as an IR blaster. This is a nice board, man. And I look forward to showing you guys more awesome boards that are coming on the way. And uh, I thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thank you to Rabbit Labs. Thank you, Pink Fox. Thank you, Rabbit, for all the love and support. And I do my best to support all the community as you guys are amazing, man, and you guys just help me carry on every day happier than the next. And I thank you for that. If you want to be updated with the latest and greatest of IoT, SBCs, SOMs, microcontrollers, and even more awesome tech, we go over different variations of tech daily in our shorts, every day in our shorts, every day. So make sure you like, subscribe, and maybe comment. Maybe. Not telling you what to do. You do your own thing, man. But thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.